Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you the Fitbit Surge. And I'm going to be filming it, and I'm going to take you along for a workout. I'm going to use my GoPro knockoff. I'm going to be uh, displaying what it shows while you're doing your workout, checking my pulse. Now, I don't claim to be an athlete, but I am a YouTuber, and I do work in the medical field. I did test this with a pulse ox. And uh, it was pretty accurate. It was off a little bit. Maybe uh, it was 80 when it should have been 82 or something like that. I ran in place. I tried everything. And uh, it's pretty accurate when it comes to that. Now, we're going to try to take our pulse while we're walking and running. But, uh, you know, we have to take that in consideration that, you know, there is human error. So let's go. Let's, uh, let's go for that workout. Okay, I got the Fitbit Surge on, and it's in regular mode. I call it the blue blue screen mode, and of course it does the uh, date, and then how many steps you do, and then your beats per minute. So I'm wearing the watch, and we're going to go for a little workout now. This is how many miles I walked. I just put this watch on for the day, and it's pretty much reset for the new day. So we'll first check out the steps, and I think it's pretty cool to show this because these steps are so accurate, it's not even funny. Uh, so right here it says I did 52 steps so far, and I'm going to walk now, and I'm going to show you. So, And I'm also going to count my steps. So we'll stop right here, and we're on 63, okay? I'm going to count out loud while you guys look at the screen. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Look at that. 77 exactly. 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 90 steps exactly. This is the best uh, walk tracker I've ever used. And I'm not even swinging my arm. I'm keeping my arm completely still. Now I'm going to swing my arm as I walk just to see if that changes anything. So we're on 90 here. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. We're on 100 steps. So, so far, this walk tracker is absolutely uh, perfect. So let's see pulse now. Now my average pulse is like 80 um, but you know I've been walking around a little bit so it's gone up a little bit I don't have high blood pressure or anything like that I don't claim to be an athlete but right now this is what it's reading it's reading 96 so we're gonna take it for a workout now all right now this is tracking because it's not in a workout uh, f uh, mode it's tracking one uh, every five seconds it's taking a track but if we bring it to workout mode, because that's what most of us are going to do, we're going to put it on workout mode. We're going to switch over and we're going to hit run. Okay, now this is going to be hard to film because there's so much glare out and everything. But uh, we'll give it a try just to see if it works. So we're here on free run. we got the GPS. And I'm going to take it for a run. Now people wanted me to film like uh, it in action and how it's, you know, making the... Uh, you know what the watch looks like when you start running and all that stuff so let's start the run okay we're gonna do a quick start and here it is so first we're gonna walk a little bit so I'm gonna walk I'm gonna switch it down at the bottom here to heart rate and you're gonna see 90 beats okay so we'll hit start and right now it's tracking me it's uh, 97. It says it's below my heart rate, my pace heart rate. And we have the miles up on top. We have the time. And pretty much that's it. Now I'm going to try to run with my arm in this position so I can film this. It's kind of hard to do. I'm at 101 right now. So let's start running. It's going to be pretty hard to run with your arm, my arm locked up like this.
Sorry for the shaky. Let's stop right here for a second. We'll see that it's gone up to 109. 110, 112. And now I'm gonna check my pulse with this as well. Okay, here we go. So it's at 121. I'm gonna call it out. I'm gonna measure 15 seconds. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get my pulse. There it is. We're at 130. And then my target. Okay, here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five times four is a hundred. So it's saying a hundred and four right now. I was saying a hundred and eight, but so it's pretty accurate when it comes to that. Let me just see. Oh. All right, I got that on film, that's good. So let's uh, see, now my heart rate's going down to 109. It's averaging around 110. It's tracking the miles, tracking all that. I'm sorry, this is very hard to do. I'm gonna try my carotid pulse next. So let me run. I'm gonna put my arms down, this way I can run a little bit better. Actually, I'll keep my arm up, here we go. push myself a little bit. Okay. What are we at? 112. Should be more than that. Seven. Should be more than that. But let me adjust it. Let me scroll out. Scroll back in. Kind of weird. It's 99. I think there's a delay, or it's not really too active. All right, there we are, 113. Let me check my carotid pulse. I'll call it out. One, two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three. Twenty-three times four. So that's uh ninety-two or something. No. Twenty-four. I mean twenty-three. Take away eight from a hundred is 92 so it says 118 so how accurate is this watch i i don't know i mean maybe what it displays is different than what it actually tracks i don't know i mean you're seeing it for yourself uh, i guess it's kind of hard to take your own pulse uh, even when you're out of breath it'd be better if i had like a chest strap you know, i was looking at my heart rate from the uh, from an iPhone app or something, and comparing it to what the watch says. But uh, 
we're taking wrist pulse here. So, and this is, you know, probably not that accurate. But in any event, it is what it is. So now it's probably taking my real pulse. I think there's a delay of some kind. Um, well, any event, you're getting pulse without a chest strap. And I guess it's an average, you know? It's an average. So I'll just continue my walk. And you can just see for yourself I'm going uphill a little bit. I mean, I'm not a runner. I mostly walk, but I walk a lot of miles, you know? Three or four miles a day. I'm more out of breath today because I'm trying to film it. You know, I can't walk, chew gum at the same time without getting out of breath. <laughs> Usually I could run a little bit and, you know, calm myself down, but I'm trying to talk, you know, all that stuff. So it's at 131 right now, and I'm walking, you know, three and a half miles per hour. So. I think there's some sort of delay. The other day, I was working out and the pulse went away. I had like two little lines. And it's almost like I couldn't read my pulse. But I don't know. It's really hard to film these sort of things. So if there's anything else you want to learn about this watch, you know, watch this. See if it helps you in any way. If not, do a thumbs down. I, you know, what am I going to tell you? I'm out here trying for you guys. All right. It's been Dave. And uh, I'm going to finish my workout. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the comments.